I'm gonna okay. We had Comic Con. This is the, I'm wrapping up the podcast. I'm wrapping up the podcast with the Comic Con news. The Comic Con came and went. Who won? Did DC win? Did Marvel win? Who won? I think we all know the winner here. It's safe to say that. Marvel. Marvel won Comic Con. Marvel won. And DC's over here. Fucking around. They brought Black Adam on stage. I think I might have guessed that. And they showed the Black Adam trailer. Sick trailer. I have a reaction to that. If you guys want to check it out. It's on the channel. YouTube channel. And then they... Okay. let's. Black Adam comes out. He stands there. Smoke, you know. Fog lights. All that shit. He stands there. Lightning in the background. But all he does is stand there. He didn't say nothing. He didn't give a monologue. You know, like Loki came out and gave a monologue. Uh, Johnny Depp as Grindelwald came out, gave a monologue. No, the, 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 the black. The Rock comes out as Black Adam. He just stands there. Awkward, bro. And then, like, the smoke dissipates, and then you see he's standing on a podium. Ugh, it's crazy, bro. And he was cool. I was tripping out. I'm not gonna lie. I was tripping out. I was like, oh, shit. Black Adam's here. Oh, man. People were loving it. It was sick. So he go he okay, so then he comes back out and he's got his normal shit on. And then we get the trailer and then people ask him a question about Superman. He got booed, bro. Rock got booed. Who boos the rock? DC fans do. Bro, if anybody asks you a Superman question and you don't have Henry Cavill waiting to come out on stage. Oh, dude, I don't even know if they should have allowed people to ask, to ask questions. He fumbled. He fumbled hella. He He's like, who would win between a fight, Black Adam and Superman? And then The Rock's like, well, it depends on if uh, who's playing Superman. Oh, dude, that's the last thing you want to say at Comic-Con in front of the fans thinking Henry Cavill's going to show up. He should have been like, good question. Why don't you ask him yourself? <gasps> dude, Comic-Con would have... Oh, dude, that would have ended Comic-Con. They would have canceled it. Why don't you ask him yourself? And then we have Henry Cavill. He comes out on stage. Maybe he's in his Superman shit. Because The Rock was in his Superman. Or The Rock was in his Black Adam shit. And then they do a matchup. Stare each other down like a UFC match. Zack Snyder comes out, breaks him up. Nah, he won't. WB's not that cool, bro. What the fuck? What is going on? Don't go to... Dude, don't go to Comic-Con if you're only going to talk about literally two movies, dude. Black Adam and Shazam. And the, and did they have the balls to, to advertise Black Adam and Shazam and not even have... Zachary Levi and The Rock together on stage. Not, they didn't have them face off. Like I, and like, dude, these are two separate movies. I get that, and they're not meeting each other yet. I get that, but don't have them on. Don't have them on the same day. And like, they're there. Let them go on stage together, dude. Like, have them all. It's like the Shazam verse, dude. They fumbled hella th- this past weekend. Oh, dude, I wasn't even there, and you can just sense the energy on online. Just go down for DC. And then you had a whole... Because DC was in the morning and then Marvel was at night. The whole day just felt like... Bam! And then it was... It was like this. It was like a flat line. All fucking day. Flat line news. Nothing was going on. Oh, it was so fucking sad for DC. And I know they have this Flash drama. And I know they have this Aquaman 2 drama. But dude, they still have Blue Beetle. Just wrapped production. They have... They have Leaked set photos of Blue Beetle on Reddit. Bring out Blue Beetle. Advertise Blue Beetle. Uh, Batgirl's done. You know. Why don't we get a Batgirl teaser? Something, dude. This is Comic-Con. Even okay, Marvel knows that. Everybody thought Marvel was going to fumble because they have G23 coming up. We don't even know if fandom is going to happen this year. What the fuck? What is going on over there, bro? What is that? What is going on? Ugh. <laughs> 
What's going on with this DC? I feel like I'm fucking Seinfeld. What's going on with DC? What is going on? Like, seriously. I know Zaslav just took over. But like I said last week, this was his time to put a stamp on it. This is a new era. Oh, now it's now the new era is mid. Because they didn't do shit for Comic Con. And that's all people are going to remember this next year. Because they have a whole year until Flash and Aquaman come out. And... All that fan, DC fans are going to be let know is, yeah, they flopped Comic Con. We don't have no news. Nothing's happening. Fumbled. You blew it. You blew it. Wow, guy. Wow. What are you doing? Go home. That's what they told. That's what they should have just told The Rock. Go home. Don't you have a Terra Mana commercial? Yeah, dude, I, it was, it was, I didn't, I, w- I didn't have high expectations from DC to begin with. I, I, I didn't expect Henry Cavill to actually be there. I expected at least an updated slate. Just, just have your slate on as a picture. What is, come on, Zaslav. People are hyping you up, bro. This was your time. And then he got Jim Lee talking about, oh, Snyderverse on another panel, undercutting the whole pan, uh, Warner Brothers panel. Snyderverse is done, and uh, we don't have any plans to do anything with those movies or characters, blah, 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 blah. It's like, dude, that's not the time to, to talk down on, like, even if that's what's happening, you don't say that. You're killing the mood. You're killing the vibe. They're vibe killers, bro. They do that to themselves. They're setting a terrible standard, dude. New Warner Brothers. But what was cool about Comic-Con? Oh, shit. Did we get Deadpool 3? No. No, we didn't. I think we should have. However, it's understandable. They they have a bunch of movies already slated and ready to go. We got the Black Panther trailer, which is fine. I also have a reaction to that. I reacted to all the trailers, all the superhero trailers for Comic-Con on the YouTube channel. Boom. So, Black uh, Black Panther 2 trailer, and then uh, She-Hulk trailer was fine. They still need to work on her CGI. Because, boy, that is... Even if Daredevil is in She-Hulk, they need to fix her, she, her CGI. Because that is not... It's not... And they're like, oh, it's not formatted for YouTube. Then don't put it out. They have all these other dope trailers that look sick. So what is what? There's that's not an excuse. Oh, it's not rendered to perform well on YouTube. Okay, well, you you need to have that standard. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. So yeah, She Hulk, Black Panther, the Ant Man trailer was shown. It got leaked. I watched it. I'm hyped. Modok, let's go. Modok, let's go. From the plot leak, there's a plot leak on Reddit. They say that Yellow Jacket is turning into Modok. I don't know if I like that. We'll see how it happens. We'll see because he he did go into the quantum realm. But wasn't wasn't Modok a totally different character, like separate from Yellow Jacket? So this is the MCU twisting and turning things at their because they want to. What really broke Comic Con and won the whole weekend? Homeboy announced two Avengers movies. Two. Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, and Avengers, Secret Wars. The Secret Wars. That's early, dude. Secret Wars could be like a two or three part movie. Like three parts. That's how big Secret Wars is. Kang Dynasty. I think they could wrap that in one movie. Maybe that's... I think they're considering those two Avengers movies, like part one and part two, just with like uh, Infinity War and Endgame. It has that same energy and that same vibe, so I get it. Uh, But people are going to be upset, dude, because the X-Men, they're definitely... They left Phase 6 blank on purpose. You're going to have like... Two or three X Men projects leading up to Secret Wars, whereas you had 
thirty something of movies with the with Avengers characters leading up to Secret Wars. So, yeah, and that's my beef. Why they should have brought in the Fox X Men into the MCU because you already have all that established, all that lore, twenty years of X Men established. You bring them into Secret Wars, boom, 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 mesh them together. You got Deadpool in there. It just would have worked better. No, granted, I can't say that wholeheartedly, 100%, because I haven't seen what they're trying to do yet. But I already know, from the time they introduced X-Men now, till Secret Wars, you're not going to have that build-up that you need, like the other Avengers characters had. Nearly 20 years at this point. 2008, by the time Secret com- Secret Wars comes out, what was it, 2025? That's borderline 20 years of uh, character development for the Avengers characters. So, yes, I'm very hyped for the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. I just finished Secret Wars, the comic, motion comic, from 2015. I'm going to re-read, I'm going to read the Kang Dynasty. Um, I'm not too familiar. I read the Wikipedia and all that stuff. And I'm hyped, dude. At least we have some kind of plan and, not structure... But you know we're not we're not left in the dark here. They announced a bunch of other stuff. Like we we already knew we were gonna get a, most of the stuff that they announced. Like Daredevil, we already knew a show was coming, but we actually got a title and the episode count. But that's not coming out for like two years. So they're gonna be dropping in Daredevil in these other shows like She Hulk, uh, Echo, leading up to his own series. So that's cool. Build up. The X-Men weren't built up at all. So they're going to have maybe one or two movies. Possibly three. Uh, I have to relook at Phase 6 in their slate. And how many open spots they have. Uh, but they still got to put like Armor Wars on that list. Because it wasn't announced uh, for Phase 6 or 5. Which is concerning. Fantastic Four is starting Phase 6. And then you got Secret Wars as the capper. So you know Doctor Doom is... Phase 6 is villain, along with Kang, but Fantastic Four is repping the Doom angle uh, when it comes to Secret Wars, and I'm here for it, I'm here for it. Uh, We didn't get any casting news for Fantastic Four, Uh, we got a release date, sick, so all we need is a director. Um, Speaking of directors, Avengers Kang Dynasty... Shang, Shang-Chi, director, is directing Kang Dynasty. Sick. Let's see what he can do with it. Some of the shots in Shang-Chi were pretty crispy. Crispy chicks. So, yes, I'm excited. Now, who will be... I think... You're gonna get all the Avengers. Most of the Avengers in Secret Wars. Because you can't have Secret Wars without all the Avengers. I don't know if that includes the original Captain America and the original Iron Man. I don't know. If they bring them back, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, if they come back, it's going to be for Secret Wars, but I'm not putting up my money on it yet. Maybe, depending on where the universe is in a year or two, I might put some money down. But it's for for right now, for the Kang Dynasty, I made a fan poster of my roster. It's it's gonna be a stacked cast of Avengers, but I don't think it's gonna be crazy amounts like Endgame. Uh, I didn't originally have Shang Chi as an Avenger for for a Kang Dynasty, and then shortly after, I put that poster together. The director was announced that it was a Shang-Chi director. So I added Shang-Chi to the roster for Kang Dynasty. Because uh, that's pretty much a, uh, a given that he's going to be in that movie. So Shang-Chi and then Captain Marvel, Ant-Man Wasp, uh, Captain America, the new... Sam is going to lead the Avengers. That's his thing. He took over. He took over for Captain America. And Captain America was the leader of the Avengers. So yes. He absolutely will be the leader. Um, when, when Kang Dynasty comes out. The next up, then you got War Machine. 
he's going to be the... It's probably his last movie as the Iron Man. Because they have Ironheart coming and then Armor Wars. So Armor Wars will probably lead into Kang Dynasty. Which... So I'm thinking that he will pop... War Machine will probably die in Kang Dynasty. But he's going to be like the de facto Iron Man for that... In that roster. He's like one of the last OGs around. That's why I don't think Tony's coming back until Secret Wars. If he comes back at all. So, and then we got... Uh, I don't think Miss Marvel is going to be uh, an Avenger right off the bat. Um, she'll be preoccupied for the Kang Dynasty. That's just my guess. Spider-Man, I have him on the roster for Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. That's just wishful, wishful thinking. Uh, Secret Wars, he probably will be Kang Dynasty. He might be wrapped up with Sony. But... He's been in um, all the new Avengers movies thus far. So I'm putting him on the poster. And then we have... I don't know if the new Black Panther will be in the Kang Dynasty. Probably. Probably. I don't know. I doubt it. We'll see. Shuri. Uh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. I think it's his last movie. was Kang Dynasty. Swan Song. White Vision. Has to be in Kang's Dynasty because we haven't we don't know what's going on. He, homeboy flew off, so he definitely needs to be in, in Kang Dynasty. White Vision, Scar- Scarlet Witch gone. Uh, then I think that's probably missing some people. I'm gonna have my poster right here. So, and if you're audio only, go check out geekedmedia.com, my YouTube channel, TikTok. I got motion posters. Uh, I should have wrote the roster down. I think when it comes to Kang's Dynasty, it's going to be a smaller cast. And then for Secret Wars, they're going to blow it up and have X Men, Fantastic Four, and Avengers. Everybody's in that, in that movie. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. So, yeah, lots of news. Everybody has been pretty much talking about this MCU, Marvel vs. DC stuff. For the whole week, this entire week, so uh, that's my whole take on it. Um, just set your expectations low for the cast for Kang's Dynasty, because uh, yeah, they're leading in the Secret Wars. I don't, they're not going to give you the whole cake at once. So, but I am interested to see, like Ant Man has Kang, and I read the whole plot leak for Ant Man, and Loki has Kang. So everything's set up. It's all teed up. Unlike DC, oh, we're gonna we're gonna get another faceless Superman cameo at the end of Black Adam. I'm calling it, calling it, and, and do it. Just don't do it. Just if you're not gonna bring back Henry, don't have a cameo or bring him. Bring in another Superman actor. Just do it. Don't do this half-ass teasing stuff. Like we're over it. You did it twice already. We already got two Superman cameos with no head. End of Shazam and Peacemaker. Don't do it. Bring back Henry. Apparently, Henry's the one that's not trying to come back. Because he's he's fucking greedy, bro. He's he's trying to get these bags. But they don't want to pay him. Well, how much is he asking for? To be honest, is he selling as many tickets as, as The Rock? As a rapper Danny Jr.? No, I don't think he is, dude. He's not. He's Henry Cavill's not like a movie star. He's on The Witcher right now. That's great. He's not like a movie star. So if he's making these high demands, like, oh, I want like twenty million dollars for to play Superman for one movie or whatever, I don't know if they're gonna want to pay him that. I don't know. I don't know. But that's the rumor. He he is waiting for them. To pay them, pay him more money. So if that's the case, you can't be mad at Warner Brothers when you know they're they're trying, dude. Maybe they're trying to get Henry back. I gotta look at it at both angles. If he's just being greedy, if he's if he's trying to pl- like pull a Nev Campbell, but like there's got to be guarantees for Henry. He's probably gonna be like, I need a solo movie, and I want to do Justice League two and three. Those are probably like guarantees that he wants. And Warner Brothers is like, nah, dude, we're going to 
we're going to keep putting you in cameos until we figure our shit out. And he's like, no, I don't want to do that. Like, I want to, I want to, he probably wants like a structure, which is, if that's where he's coming from, like a, for a creative standpoint, then that's fine. But if he just wants more bags, like, dude, like, come on, just be Superman. If it's good, you'll get a raise. Like, come on, bro. Don't hold up the fan base. So, I don't know. DC's in a weird place. Uh, Marvel's on a roll. Hopefully they're, hopefully they fix their VFX beef with, with the VFX departments. Pay them their worth. Or don't put out 10 projects a year. Let them work, but let them get some sleep. Like, come on, bro. What, like, stop being greedy Marvel, Disney. We're not, we're gonna watch it. Just make it good. Same with DC. Just make it good. What do you guys think about all this Comic Con news? Are you upset with DC? Or do you think they're chilling and they're gonna announce everything at Fandom? You think they're, uh, you think they did a good job skirting the Flash and Aquaman too? You think that was a smart move? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. Um, what about Marvel? Are you are you excited for the Kang Dynasty, Secret Wars? Or are you like, eh, I don't really like Kang like that. Or, uh, oh, Secret Wars this is way too early and uh, they shouldn't do it this soon. And is that is that where you're coming from? Are, or I kind of wanted an, an Avengers movie, uh, not 2025. 2024. That's a whole like that's three years away. That's three years waiting waiting for an Avengers movie. But I'm not complaining. We get two in one year, so they probably pushed it from 2024 to 2025 because of VFX. Because they don't want to pay their VFX people. It's probably what happened. I don't know. What do you guys think about this Marvel stuff? CDC, Comic Con coverage.